Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everyone, checking in on gold, the dollar, miners. So we had that break of 10102, that key. It was actually a triple top by the time we broke it. And we did see a little bit of consolidation after that, keeping in mind that we came with a 35, 40 cent move to break that resistance. Normal healthy consolidation after that break. You can see this hourly candlestick closed above it. And this is bull flag healthy consolidation on this pullback. And we are looking for some continuation to the upside and a very rough drawing here but a little bit of contained consolidation bullish reversal doji confirmed and here we are 10102 again if we get a break of 10111 the high that we've seen confirms the bull flag and confirms continuation new support is at 191 and we'll be looking at the next resistance by zooming out on the daily time frame and looking at the lower high pattern that has now broken as 10102 was the previous high of the last bounce, that has broken. So we're looking up at 10150 and 10173 as the next resistances on this daily time frame. So again, we're going to be keeping an eye out for the potential that this is a bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. We would have to pull back from 102 at the most, I would say. We could make it all the way up to 102, but then if we begin to pull back and head to this double low of consolidation at 9943, ideal scenario for the gold bulls and the minor bulls would be a break of that level but again i will not hold out and hope that that's what we're going to see until we start consolidating and pulling back in the right shoulder and we're still going up on the right shoulder so there is it's entirely possible that this pattern means absolutely nothing it's just something that i'm keeping an eye on just in case so the dollar is strong in the short term which means gold is pulling back still so we had that pullback this 1235 level keeps coming into play it was resistance, support, resistance, resistance, and then we pulled back from there. And we did hit a lower low, and we broke 12.21.46, 12.21.50. But you can see we were oversold on the hourly when that occurred, and we saw a bullish reversal hammer, and you can see the, the bulls closed above that support line. So I hit the low of consolidation back here, which is where I picked that support out from back on. Let's see when that was. February 6th. Then we hit it again recently, and then we dipped below it just now, today, but we closed above it with a bullish reversal hammer that saw a bounce play out. Now it's still forming lower highs. I've got a downtrend resistance line hitting these lower highs on the hourly, and this uptrend support line is coming from the daily chart that I'll show you in just a minute. But it's getting very tight, and we're going to see a clear break tomorrow either above this downtrend resistance line or through this support line looking for lower lows. So the next consolidation low that I'm looking at and we'll put a line there, is going to be down here at the low of the next consolidation. If we were to break this support that we just held earlier today, it's going to be all the way down at 1214.43. So the bulls want to hold this uptrend line and the support line that we are currently bouncing off of, and this daily uptrend line is coming from the strong bounce where I hit the low of the bounce, I hit the higher low where we consolidated, and now the price is testing that level again. So all in all, on the daily time frame, it's still normal, healthy consolidation, and you can see there's no dump, there's no big bear volume at this point. So keeping a close eye on that fact, but also aware that the dollar did just make a bull break and gold is still pulling back. So looking at the miners, GLD, bulls bought the dip today. And we held that 100-day moving average. You can see we've held this now a few times testing it. It's currently at 116.55. This is a bullish reversal, almost a dragonfly doji, almost a hammer. 
Doesn't make a difference in my opinion. It's showing psychologically the bulls buying the dip and the close near the high of the day. Bulls really want to see a green day tomorrow in response to this candlestick to show a new higher low support has been formed, which would be 116.55 on GLD. So that's looking at the spider gold shares. Let's look at these miners. Might have just called those miners, but GLD is for gold itself. So GDX, different setup altogether. Very tight pattern where we had an inside candlestick with a low of 2486 and a high of 2515. So we're going to see a very clear break of that range tomorrow. If we get a bull break, we're looking at 2536. If we get a bear break, we're looking at 2460. So not a ton of information at all on the miners today. Not much trading opportunity at all. And really an uneventful day for those miners. Just another day for these moving average supports to catch up. And we're going to have to see pretty much however that pattern breaks on gold. The one that I had on my hourly, that tightening range. Pretty much however that breaks, we can anticipate that that's going to be the direction that that daily inside candlestick breaks on GDX. So the weekly time frame for GDX still maintaining the higher low pattern that has been in play now for seven weeks in a row. This is the eighth week. And not much information with that tiny range. Nothing to see there on the daily or on the weekly time frame. GDXJ, same thing. Indecision, tiny range. Support, 4107. Resistance, 4174. However, we break this inside candlestick tomorrow is the direction we'll be looking in. And we'll be looking at the high and the low of Friday for both GDX and GDXJ. So it's going to be interesting to watch how this pattern shapes up overnight as we get tighter and tighter. And by the time we get to tomorrow, let's see, it's going to be about 13, 14 hours. I'd say we'd be at a point where we're going to see a clear break right around when we open tomorrow if it hasn't happened yet. So if we haven't seen a break overnight, if we don't see a break overnight, we are going to see a break pretty much first thing in the morning. So that's what we're going to be looking at. The dollar needs to regain 10102 and break 10111 for continued strength, which would likely mean gold continues to pull back. So I appreciate you watching. We will check back in tomorrow as always. See you then.